This is Mike Mozart of the Toy Channel with the amazing Looney Tunes Monopoly. This is actually just one of many different versions of Looney Tunes Monopoly that was actually made with the Monopoly brand on it. This fantastic game, of course, has beautiful graphics. How could you have anything else with the Looney Tunes friends? But there are a lot of interesting things within this box, including the houses, which are now little television sets. And the hotels, which are now theaters, little Looney Tunes theaters. There's a special money rack here that is absolutely nice. I love how the instruction book's in color, one of the very few in the Monopoly history. Look at the Monopoly money. Lola Bunny's on the one, Foghorn Leghorn's on the fives, Peppy Le Pew is on the tens, Elmer Fudd <laughs> is on the twenties, Porky Pig's on the hundreds, Yosemite Sam on the fifties, and Michigan J. Frog is on the 500s. I think that's so cool already. Um, you know, i got to show you these cards first, because I find the cards very interesting. The utilities are perfectly named Acme Power and Acme Pipeline. Instead of the railroads, there's Acme Rocket Airlines, Marvin Martian's Taxi, which is a little aircraft, Wild E Delivery, and Witch Hazel's Shuttle. Make sure she doesn't use her sweeping broom. The properties aren't by, like, name properties. They're actual episodes of the Looney Tunes show, like Rabbit Seasoning. Wabbit Season! Duck Season! <laughs> There's Elmer. Look at this. Um, One Foggy Evening with Michigan J. Frog. So they took the most famous episodes of Looney Tunes to make them the properties. Pop, I'm Pop with Hippity Hoppity the Kangaroo and Fulvester. Um, look, Devil May Care, or say Devil May Hair, because it has Bugs Bunny with um, Tasmanian Devil. Fast and Furious you know, with um, Roadrunner and Coyote. Duck Dodgers in the 24th and a half century is one of the properties. And see, look at the rent cards. With one TV set, two TV sets, or a theater. And Lovelorn Leghorn, another classic with Foghorn Leghorn. I mean, these are absolutely fantastic. This board is amazing. Of course, it has the classic Monopoly places. Go. Go to jail, where some of these tunes probably should be kept. Free parking. And the classic Monopoly jail, which you could just visit, too. And, of course, well, he's really the Monopoly guy now, but forever people called him Uncle Pennybags. Thanks for the free parking. Had to say that. So he's center stage with the Looney Tune characters all in the audience around him. Instead of chance and community chess cards, they have that's all folks cards. Let's see what this one says here. Let's see. I should have taken a left at Albuquerque. Pay 50 laughs for directions. Oh, I forgot to mention. Laughs. Looney Tunes characters don't use money. They play for the laughs. I'm not kidding. Look closely. 100 laughs. 500 laughs. I mean, all the Looney Tunes characters, that's all they've done since the beginning is play for laughs, Ex except Daffy Duck. He'd always take the money. Well, well, other than that for Community Chest, the chance cards are now What's Up Doc cards. I twa I twa putty tat. Go back three places. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the playing pieces are absolutely spectacular, too. Remember, they're fine pewter. There is Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Wiley e. Coyote, Roadrunner, Sylvester, Tweety, Tasmanian Devil, Marvin the Martian. Now, there's only supposed to be eight in here, and to my surprise, when I opened this up, there was a Looney Tunes trophy for the grand winner. I didn't even see that mentioned on the box. Look how much stuff comes in this box. Absolutely amazing. Ooh, I have to show this. I'm such a Warner Brothers fan. When Warner Brothers stores were around, I bought a bunch of the big resin figures. There is the big Bugs Bunny that I bought in his Western attire. I really love that thing. Absolutely magnificent game. There are other versions of licensed Looney Tunes um, games, too, from Monopoly. I love this. Gravity Tax. Pay 10% or 200 laughs. It's just beautiful. Um, if you like Looney Tunes, check out the different Looney Tunes Monopolies. There's a bunch of them. Um, this particular one's actually numbered. And I think you'll be very pleased with the results. This is Mike Mozart of the Toy Channel.